back to my channel. So for this week's video, it's gonna kind of be, it's a little bit of a mismatch. If you don't know, if you didn't see my post, or if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. I had surgery last Tuesday for my health-related symptoms, and I'm going to give you a whole update on what happened. Um, maybe not go into the gory details too much because it's kind of embarrassing, but I will tell you everything that happened and how I'm doing now with the complications that I had. But first, I did film most of this prior to the surgery, so I wanted to, you know, share it with you all because I have the footage and it's just a kind of a more so of a vlog style video than an actual tutorial. But yeah, this is current Bria. Um, now I'm gonna, you know, turn it over to past Bria so you can, you know, see what she was up to. <laughs> oh, I'm so weird. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this week's video, it's gonna kind of be somewhat of a more casual, this is what I'm doing this week vibe. I am working on making over our, I have to go turn off the washer and dryer when I'm filming. Okay, that's way better. But I am making over our master bedroom. And the first step in that is uh, I ordered a new bed frame. And I'll show you what our current bedroom looks like in just a second. But the bed frame came today. It just literally came like 15 minutes ago. And uh, I got it in the house and it's huge. Let me show you. This, like, I, you can't even tell the scale. Like that's, our big, big TV. They're both over 50 pounds a piece. I'm gonna unload them here and then take everything into the bedroom. But the funny thing is, is that the boxes, I feel like they just had them strapped to the back of the truck because they are filthy. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen the, the mayhem that uh, they did to my hands and face. And uh, since they're not fully unpacked, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna get dirty all over again. But I didn't want to start off this vlog with, you know, smears all over my face. But yeah, I am going to just get started on all of that. And I'll show you the state of my bedroom right now. It's embarrassing, so don't judge. <laughs> all right, guys, are you ready for this? That's a chewer, like a, a Nyla Bone chewer for Rez. He likes to chew in his bed. This is the current state of my room. I have a lot of laundry to fold, but you know, it's far easier just to toss it on the bed than fold it and put it away, right? Anyway, this is our current bed frame. And you're probably like thinking, what's wrong with it? Why, why do you need a new bed frame? Well, first of all, we got this bed frame off of Wayfair and the size said king, but it had the word Euro in front of it. And I assumed, sillily, that uh, a European king or a Euro king was the same, but it's not. It's like three inches wider than our current bed. So uh, stubbing your toes on the edge of the bed is a fairly common occurrence, but we have lived with that for a very long time. This is why we needed a new bed frame. I don't think you can even tell how unstable this bed is. Oh well, it is very wiggly. Couple things. I took the mattress off, obviously, and I think I figured out why it was so wiggly. Um, it has these four supports here and it's missing one <laughs> and it's actually right there we were gonna give this away for free i don't know if we are anymore um spoil <laughs> spoiler alert oh my gosh that's so hard to say spoiler 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 oh my god spoiler oh my god i can't say it what i'm trying to say is that i ended up giving it away for free on craigslist but that's that's more more on that later why can't i say spoiler alert I also found this really creepy bug. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Oh, that's even more terrifying than it looked. Um, no thank you. What is it? Oh my gosh. I don't even know if it's alive or not. I hope not. Also, this little guy doesn't know what's happening. He's hiding in his fortress of solitude. What's wrong, bug? Are you scared? Come here. Yeah, good boy. You're just not sure about all of this. You're so, so unsure. Huh? Yeah. See, it's gonna be okay. Okay. Okay, I get it. You need it. Hey guys, so it's a couple hours later and um, I have taken apart all of the bed. I'm sitting where the bed used to be and it has been 
crazy, honestly. That's the only word that can come to mind. This bed is broken, and I have explained to you that it's broken. And so I put it on Craigslist for free, um, just seeing if anybody would want it. And apparently everybody on the internet wants it. My phone has just been blowing up, so I have not gotten like an opportunity to breathe the last couple hours. So it's been insane. If you can bring it back here again. Um, yeah. So after this clip, I ended up finding someone to actually come and take it and took the listing off of Craigslist and let go where they were because people were insane. Next time I'll probably just put it out on the curb and just say, take it, don't message me. <laughs> probably would be the smartest choice, honestly. But after that, uh, the next day was my surgery. So honestly, the mayhem wasn't such a bad thing because I was freaking out about my surgery. So it was almost a welcome distraction, but I ended up giving it away to someone who actually is going to use it. So that felt really nice to be able to help someone else. So <laughs> I did not uh, have the best time management in this project because um, I was not able to secure box springs to use our new bed frame because you need box springs for it. You didn't with our old one, but you do with this one. We didn't have box springs, so we were kind of sleeping on the floor after my surgery. Our mattress was just literally on the floor. But before we got the box springs, we were able to set up the bed and just have our mattress on the floor next to it. Yeah, I know, I slept on the floor. It's a good thing my husband loves me because time management skills are a little lacking. Okay, so the bedroom is actually a complete disaster right now, so don't judge, but um, this is what it looks like. There's, you know, socks on the floor and pillows are everywhere, but um, drills and hospital socks. Extreme fashion statements. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm, yes. But I need to clean it um, and wash the bedding and all of that. But um, this is the bed frame, and I am actually going to reupholster the headboard because I intentionally bought the darker color, which I did not want, but it was like... $50 cheaper to buy the darker color and you can easily reupholster it and I'm just gonna use drop cloth to match that so it seemed like a no-brainer for me and for side tables I went and we had a rast drawer already I mean the drawers aren't in it but we ended up buying another rast drawer and you can tell Pixel has been here with all of her toys and oh another hospital sock mm, yes I am the epitome of high fashion in my hospital socks Call Vogue, I'm ready for my close up. So I filmed that a couple days after my surgery and I was still a little bit weak so I had to wait for my husband to get home. And then we tackled reupholstering, reupholstering the headboard of the new bed frame.
canopy bed. I have wanted a canopy bed since I was a little girl. I have never had one, to my knowledge. Maybe I don't remember having one as a little girl. Don't think I did though, but I have always been enchanted with them and I know that this bed is a little, just a little big for this room, but this is not our forever home. This is a rental. This is a bed that I've wanted forever, so I'm making it work. Also, I know that the back of the headboard is a little bit rough. If it was gonna show, I would have taken more time to, you know, make it look beautiful, but it's up against a wall. You're not gonna see it. So I wasn't really concerned with making the back of it pretty and I didn't tear off any of the original materials. So if I wanted to go back to the charcoal fabric that it came with, all I have to do is take out the staples and it'll be basically good as new. I'm in love with this bed. It's amazing. It's like fulfilling all of my hopes and dreams as a little girl and I absolutely love it. It's a lot higher than our other bed used to be, but I have a bench now so the dogs can still get up on the bed. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the point where I'm talking about my personal stuff and is really hard for me to do and really awkward and I just I don't like doing it and I share so much with you guys I just want to continue doing that even if it's uncomfortable for me so um, if you haven't seen my video talking about my health issues and like feeling inadequate and everything I will link that video here for you to watch um, but basically my health issues have been female related and it's been happening for quite some time, um, almost a year now, and it, things have gotten really bad um, the past five months. I went to my doctor, my OBGYN, the first one I went to anyway, and she scared the ever-living daylights out of me um, by just not knowing what was wrong with me and saying that she saw abnormal tissue in uh, a weird area, and basically that just means that you have cancer or you probably have cancer and so that was really terrifying and um, I went through a, a minor operation that was in office she said she still didn't know what it was and ended up referring me to a doctor that I didn't feel had any qualification for what I was having I'm sorry for being so vague it's just very personal like it's your lady parts and this is the internet, so it's kind of weird. <laughs> so I ended up going to another OBGYN and he immediately said like, that's what it is and we're gonna schedule you for a surgery. How's next Tuesday? And I was like, oh, okay. So I had my surgery on Tuesday. They put me under anesthesia and um, I woke up, which is a really great thing. And my doctor had pulled my husband aside and told him that the surgery went well and showed him before and after pictures which I still haven't even seen said that everything went well and that was exactly what it was and they removed the abnormal tissue which there was abnormal tissue and it's currently in the lab being tested um, for cancer so we're hoping and praying that that comes back benign um, my doctor said that he is pretty sure it's not but you know there's always that chance but I am just remaining positive about it and I am going to just believe and trust that it is not cancer and um, I'm I'm not going to go there anymore uh, it's a terrifying place to be so I'm not I'm not going there but uh, the recovery process from the surgery was a little bit more difficult than I anticipated in ways that I did not anticipate. From the actual surgery, I really didn't have too many symptoms. Like it was a little sore, a um, little painful, tender, but really the symptoms that I was suffering from were in my head area. They had to stick a breathing tube down my throat during surgery, which is terrifying. So my lymph nodes right here were insanely sore post-surgery like I could not even touch them they are much better now and I can actually put some pressure on it they're not 100% healed yet though the other thing that I suffered from from the breathing tube was I had a ton of canker sores in the inside of my lips so I couldn't even feel this part of my lips so that was fun they're still somewhat numb but I have most of my feeling back but the biggest issue is that I had a pretty fairly large blind spot in this eye and I it was just black the first day, black and yellow. Um, it honestly looked like when you stare at a light bulb for too long and then you look away. 
and you know you see the outline of the light bulb <laughs> I hadn't been staring at a light so it was just permanently there and every time I blinked it would get worse and it would just kind of stay there when my eye was open and it was rather scary I'm not gonna lie just to not be able to see out of your eye, which is difficult. So I ended up going to my primary care doctor and he said that as long as it's improving, which it was, and just to let him know if it hadn't improved in about a week. So it's been a week since I've seen him and the blind spot is almost fully gone now. I can still see it a tinge when I blink. It's kind of like that same you know, sensation that I said it was before, but it's definitely improved and I can stare at a screen now and actually work on a screen now. It took a lot longer than I was hoping it would. Um, the improvement was not great day to day, but from last week to this week, it's definitely improved. It was very hard to stare at a screen because it was backlit. It made it even worse so I couldn't see anything out of this eye. So that was fun. <laughs> but I am on the mend. Yeah, everything's going really well. I am hoping that we will be good to go and the lab results will come back benign. Um, but yeah, I will let you guys know what the lab results come back at when I find out, which hopefully will be soon because it's kind of a waiting game and nobody likes to wait, right? Nobody. But anyway, I feel like I have blabbed on forever. I hope you guys all have amazing weeks and I will be back next week with another DIY video. It will be back to your regularly, oh my gosh, I can't speak today. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. Why can I speak so much better in a British accent than my normal one? I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys all have amazing weeks and I will see you guys in the next video, which will be a DIY video, which will be next Saturday. I promise. I'll see you there. Bye.